so I listened to this thing and it was three people reviewing it. Um, Scottish drummer. I don't know who the woman was, but she, I think she was she was like the host, and Lloyd Cole. I was like, oh, they're talking about my book. I got I managed to listen to it. Just to, they were still talking about it. Um. So here it was. Then I uh, started doing stand up and. Bremel. Thank you very much. Beans believing. Bears repeating. Amateur partner. Tifty thinks it thinks I get the subs. And he made television shows for BBC Scotland. I don't think he's anywhere near as well known outside Scotland as he is in Scotland. But his television shows would make me laugh out loud in a way that so much comedy. I'll talk about my book. Cole as Francis. Oi, Cole. I'll talk about my autobiography. It's a very honest book. It's quite a sweary book. What did you make of it, Limmy? I did enjoy the language, especially having lived for four or five years in Glasgow myself. So yes, the idea of taking uh, an insult word and turning it into a term of endearment uh, okay. is, 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 does have a, a certain charm for, for sure. Beyond that, I, find my, I found myself completely unable to empathize I think in order to be able to read the book and get through it, he needs you to, 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 to like him somewhat. I didn't like him. I found him completely without charm. I kept waiting for something to come along to pull me in, and all there was was this idea that maybe this honesty was going to impart some kind of authenticity onto the book it needed something in i think it needed something from me i couldn't get myself to be part of the equation uh and and i think possibly it's because i didn't know limmy before i read the book and i found myself going back and forth thinking well should i go and look at a lot of youtube now so that i know more about limmy so i can read this book better or would that really be cheating? Because surely the book, if it's a book, should be able to stand on its own legs. I, I found myself going back and forth. I just didn't find the story interesting. I, I must say, Francis, I half agree with Lloyd in the sense that I was torn emotionally reading this book. I was um, almost revolted by his monumental self-centeredness and also by the ferocious amount of violence that is in the book. I mean, violence within him should be said quite often directed against himself and violent scenes that he describes. But at the same time, I was awestruck by the amount of of candour. I have never met, a, or I've never read or met for that matter, but I've certainly never read a man before talking about his sexual exploits with such a, an admission of, of incompetence and failure, saying, this is me, I'm I was useless sexually, and there's only one woman with whom I've ever had sex successfully, and this is the, my partner now, this very long-suffering woman called Lynn. It is devastatingly frank and open about, not just about sex, but about his joy in meeting celebrities. And He's not sophisticated in some ways, as though he's got a, a layer of skin that's less than most people have. I think he talks about things that men not need sophisticated. to talk about. And he doesn't necessarily do it in a I've got the answers gather around. So he just tells you this is what happened to me. This is what I did. And I learned a, a, a very useful piece of wisdom recently. There's so many times in the book where he's a lost soul. But in the end, he forms it all into his, his comedy, which is successful. And he actually takes parts of who he was when he was younger. You know, Dee Dee is the stoner that makes kind of Dylan the Rabbit look like Magnus Pike or <laughs> Russell Brand or something. And he spent, Lemmy spent a year in a flat with a flatmate. He resented stone doing nothing. What's he the stone? took it and he used it because something I wish had been said to me um, to go to jail and, and, and daft self-destructive things I did and times I've... Uh, the, the better place we are to try and address it. I will buy into that a little bit. In terms in terms of plot, yeah, absolutely. This is this is somebody... I mean, there's the, there's the lovely moment where he finally finds himself studying in college and he loves it. 
and 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 you realize that there is a there's a there's a that he has a brightness not necessarily you know he has an intelligence of a certain t- of a certain kind uh, and and he and he finds something that he's comfortable with and he's happy for a while um but yes of course he's 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 constantly fighting depression and i found myself almost feeling awful just like, why am i not sympathizing with this guy because i'm not is it because he's not in a way he doesn't ask for sympathy what it, what was really sort of getting getting my goat is that there's a sense of him saying i'm a useless per- person i'm a useless father i'm no help around the house i can't ring up electricians i don't know how to do this i don't know how to do that and when when he has the when they have the kid he says trying to be an unselfish person was driving me insane I felt like it was against my nature. And there's a kind of defiance there. He's saying, look, no. this is the sort of person I am. I'm, I'm selfish. Um, I mess up. I keep trying to kill myself. I didn't feel he was asking for my sympathy. Want it. Well, well I, I, honestly, I got... Don't, 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 don't want it. Don't want it. If I try to get people's sympathy, it would look like I'm trying to get sympathy, look like self-pitying. And that's one thing I didn't want. I don't feel sympathy. The feeling that he was writing a memoir because he could. And and that and, and honestly, somebody had said, Lemmy, why don't you write a memoir? And he suddenly said, Well, well, I'm not doing anything right now, why not? Uh and and I and I don't think that's a good enough reason to write a memoir. Uh and and I and that's the feeling I came away with was that he didn't really have a memoir to write. And there's there's a linearity about the book which is just and tedious. I did this, then I did that, then I did this, then I did that, then I did this. Um I will say one thing, is uh, if talking about empathy, I do have something in common with Limmy. Uh at a certain point in my life when I needed I needed to make a website, I taught myself how to use Macromedia Flash just like he did and I built I built a website around about exactly the same time that he did yeah. and so the thing that I found myself thinking was I taught myself how to use Flash just like he did I taught myself how to be a father <laughs> I taught myself how to be less selfish it's possible I find that's maybe why I find myself not sympathizing with him uh, see I think there's, there's a push pull here for me because I, I think on the one hand we can't have expectations of, so, of someone for example being very Honest, and that he won't grow up wondering Hot. if his dad ever loved him. Hot. And I get that Hot. you're absolving yourself of having to do any more work, maybe. So I, I, I um, it's an interesting thing to ponder. Well, we've been talking about Lim. Right, so I start. Um, so, you know, he, Lloyd Cole, Lloyd Cole taught himself um, how to make a Flash website. So why'd I have to be such a cunt? Space Cadet thanks to sub.